with us. We have more developments coming in from Maharashtra that we continue to track. And after Bharatiya Janata Party's big win in Maharashtra, Deputy Chief Minister Ajit Pawar is going to hold a meeting with his MLAs at Devgiri. Anand, what are the details that are coming in now? Ajit Pawar is also set to hold a meeting with his MLA. So, uh, there's a slew of meetings that is taking place in Maharashtra. What's the agenda? Uh, uh, the, the big question of the hour is obviously uh, the chief minister. Who will be the next chief minister? So, what are the developments that are coming in? Yeah, real look, uh, even as uh, everyone is thinking that who will be the chief next chief minister of Maharashtra, all the parties are holding separate meetings with their newly elected MLAs. And similar is the view at the residence of uh, Ajit Pawar, that is Devgiri over here in the hilltop area of Mumbai. So all the newly elected MLAs are coming to meet Ajit Pawar, the chief of the NCPAP faction, and they are congratulating him for the massive mandate that his party has got the around 41 seats his party won in this assembly election looking at the dismal performance during the Lok Sabha polls when his party could manage to win only one Lok Sabha seat. So looking at the kind of performance that NCP AP has given in this uh, assembly polls, uh, so they are holding meetings uh, and even Chagan Bhujwal, one of the senior leaders of the NCP is also at the residence of Ajit Pawar and they are holding talks with all the newly elected MLAs even as they are discussing uh, that how they managed to secure such a landslide victory in Maharashtra and what were the factors and they are also discussing that how many uh, ministerial births they should get uh, in the next cabinet of Maharashtra. So these are the discussions on cards that are taking place uh, of all the parties. Similarly, we saw that how earlier uh, at the residence of Devendra Fadnavis, that is Sagar, several of the BJP MLAs have also come as uh, BJP has emerged as the single largest party by winning 132 seats in the state. So all these leaders, senior leaders of all three parties, they are holding separate meeting with their MLAs to decide on the future course of action for Maharashtra. Back to you, Ria. All right, Alok Mehta, I would like to ask this question to you is that uh, now during this, uh, after the results came out, there's a there's a video that has popped up uh, in all over the social media of Devendra Farnavis in December 2019. He resigned as the Maharashtra Chief Minister and after just four days in power. Uh, due to shifting of alliance and after when he was facing his uh, uh, former ally Uddhav Thakre, Farnavis Fern quoted a very famous couplet and promised that he'll come back where he said that I will come back and he has lived up to his promise that uh, uh, when the party now Bharatiya Janata Party is the biggest party, the largest party in this alliance right now. So he five years later he had made good on his promise. So do you think that uh, as you rightly said that uh, Devendra Farnavis uh, is more of a reliable choice? Do you think this works uh, in Bharatiya Janata uh, Party's favour that the, it's the largest party currently in the alliance? Yeah, yeah. I think because I I feel that Devendra Farnavis his image is also clean. There was money. He also denied that one allegation was there about his family and the money, power and all. But I think then uh, ultimately it was not proved. So then he, uh, he was a very senior leader. He was deputy chief minister. Time being he was the chief minister. But his image is very clean, very and very modern also. <coughs> you see, sometimes people talk about his wife that how she is modern. But in nowadays, if you are in Maharashtra or in India, if wife is a, in a modern uh, society, if we can, she can move or she can convince the young people, I think it will be it a help for the BJP because BJP is a traditional party and uh, the family always uh, work with the, uh, anybody who is in the party work, uh, working or uh, trying to contest the election. So I think Devan Parnavish is the right choice. And because earlier also I mentioned, he is choice of the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And frankly speaking, he was alternative for Nitin Gatkari ji. He was very senior because I know the whole background. So I feel when he was, he was, a, when he was a candidate for the Prime Ministership, he was uh, ambitious for the Chief Ministership earlier. So we will be thinking that because he is not, uh, he didn't wanted to be a, in a union cabinet with the Modi ji then he could have been the better choice for the Maharashtra. But at the time, they thought that they need a very experienced person. He was very successful minister in Maharashtra. That's why Nitin Gadkari ji, and he is a loyal RSS worker. He accepted the ministership with the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. 
I mean, he was even the president at the time Nitin Gadkari ji. So same thing with uh, Fadnavis, Devendra Fadnavis. He accepted deputy chief ministership because of the party discipline and is a hard core of the RSS men. So I think the BJP is not like Congress that they will revolt, revolt, revolt. Very seldom it happens like Kalyan Singh or some few people uh, left the party and then again they joined the party. So when I know the background of the BJP people, most of the people, they accept the number two position, they accept the number one position and they accept the any leader who is uh, Rajnath Singh ji was the senior most leader but at the time he accepted the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. So Devin Parnavis, even in case if they say, okay, we want a Maratha leader, then anybody, what then the Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Amit Shah, what they will choose? It will be a party decision, but I know this party, either in Congress party, what the Sodhya Gandhi used to do or Indira Gandhi used to do. If they say, okay, I want this. But afterwards, the Indira Gandhi time, there was a revolt so many in the history of 67 to 80s, 90s. So I think there will be no revolt in the BJP. But Certainly, the guidelines by the high command is the final decision. Words will go when the, there will be meeting of the MLAs. The master will go. Object, uh, formalities will be afterwards. But I think the mind was very clear. And that's why I can't predict what the Prime Minister Narendra Modi only knows that what he wants to do. You know, normally in the media, people say, okay, he will be the chief minister. But I, I never predict because, you know, Mohan Yadav was their choice. Nobody was thinking. Maybe he was also groomed, but I am uh, aware about it, that. Uh, but I was not sure that Mohan Yadav will be chief minister. So same thing was Manohar Lalji, but he was continued for two terms and then maybe he will be the party president in few months. So I think the Devin Parnavis will be the right choice by Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself. All right, Alok Mehta, stay with us. We also have with us Raj Lakshmi Joshi. Uh, she's a political analyst joining us on the telecast. Uh, Raj Lakshmi Joshi, uh, there are a couple of other reason, reasons that the Bharatiya Janata Party is likely to press for CMC's position is the fact that the party has managed to successfully mobilize when it comes to OBCs and scheduled cars to vote for the alliance and they've also uh, neutralized the Maratha agitation. So focus has now shifted to Mahayuti's choice on the question of chief ministership. So do you think Bharatiya Janata Party stands, uh, uh, it stands a chance with uh, Devendra Farnavis as a chief minister? Uh, yes, uh, definitely. Uh, you know, the, with the kind of numbers that the BJP has got, I don't think that anybody can deny their uh, right in uh, choosing their chief minister. Uh, even the senior leaders of the NCP have today uh, come out and spoken out in the open saying that the numbers are such that uh, even the uh, Ajit Power faction of the NCP and the Shinde Sena both their numbers put together are much lesser than what the BJP has got. So, uh, you know, and also just consider the fact that even if uh, both these parties decide to break away, they will still have to join hands with every other person in the uh, SMD other than the BJP to be able to form a government. So, logically, practically and in all senses, I think that uh, it is only rightful that they will definitely give a mutual consent if the BJP comes up with uh, the name of uh, Devendra Fadnavis ji. Now, the only reason why uh, you know, Fadnavis ji would not be considered would be if he is being considered for a bigger post, uh, that of uh, say maybe the BJP president. So, that if that might happen, then that could be the only reason why the BJP could come up with another name. But right now, this uh, mandate seems to be overwhelmingly in favor of uh, Devendra Fadnavis ji. So, I don't think that uh, the BJP would have any other reasons to think of anyone else. And uh, even though obviously, you know, all the party workers of the other two parties, they would have their own aspirations and their own uh, feelings about having their own leader as the chief minister. Now, if you look at it, Say, if Mr. Ekna Chinde is made as the uh, chief minister, then obviously the Ajit Power faction also, they would also uh, start uh, saying that, yes, we have also got uh, very good numbers. So they may also start uh, showing some discontent. So I think that, uh, you know, practically it will be in the best sense if the BJP chooses to uh, make uh, Devendra Fadnavis ji as the chief minister. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.